Hello and welcome to your in-depth weekly horoscope for week commencing the 30th of January for the Sun or the Ascendant. I'm going to give you the key features to look out for, but please stay with me. I will then dive deep to give you in forensic detail all of the ins and outs for the signs from Aries through to Pisces. If you're a returning visitor to my channel, thank you so much for joining me once more. If you're new, it's great to have you with me. Please like or comment. I answer all comments. This is very much a community. And also subscribe. And if you would like to understand what the next year will hold for you as an individual, as opposed to your zodiac sign, if you give me three pieces of personal birth data of time, date and place of birth. I can give you your forecast, but also my special package of 30% off your life roadmap report. This helps you to understand where you can seize opportunities more firmly, but also some of the patterns that may have repeated themselves that are not so easy. The more you can intimately understand what these are about, the more you can overcome them. Also, I will provide your free Zodiac, Indian and Chinese 12 month forecast completely free of charge. Please see the link below. So this week begins with the Sun forging a, a really energized link with Mars. But later in the week, Mars and Venus are actually going to be in a tense right angle. But that can just amp up the attraction of someone that you may encounter Essentially, the Sun in the, the sign of Aquarius is about friendship. Mars in Gemini is about communications. So if there's somebody that you're attracted to in a social context, then the text messages and emails can soon flow. There can be a meeting up and it can be great fun. Or you may find yourself in the mood to be much more active. But with Venus, the planet of Allure in the sign of Pisces, this is a more reflective location, but Venus actually is exalted here. It likes being in Pisces, and it's asking us to be attuned to how things feel. Mars has a, an element of urgency around communications in Gemini. So I wouldn't think it's a great idea to rush communications around anyone if you get to know them this week, or you've been recently getting to know them, just let things go at their own pace. But there can be a sense of desire. Now also this week, we do see the sun in a much more discordant right angle to Uranus. And this may just ring a little bit of a bell in the back of your mind. And the reason is because a year ago, this exact aspect occurred, but also because Saturn in Aquarius has been in that extended right angle with Uranus in Taurus. But the Sun's moved in. Now the Sun obviously is about our core energy. Uranus in the sign of Taurus is about everyday money, but also our self-worth. So it is possible that there is going to be something that comes out into the open as this week goes on, that the truth seeker Uranus pushes us to fess up about. And the sign of Aquarius is very much into the idea of, of truth because, of course, Uranus is the co-ruler of this sign. But by the end of the week on Sunday, we have a very intense full moon in the sign of Leo. This is a culmination event. If we look back to six months ago when we had the Leo new moon, that forged an amazing trine with Jupiter. It was very much about showcasing our talents, our desires, our passions. But the Sun in Aquarius is at the coolest point of its journey for its entire yearly cycle. It's technically in detriment. And the dispassionate side of Aquarius pushes back at what can be seen as the more frivolous and even attention-seeking energies of Leo. And because the uh, Uranus energies in Taurus is very much about how much something is worth, but it can be an erratic energy, this is not the best of times to speculate. So over the next two weeks, I wouldn't be 
risking any resources on any get rich quick scheme or if a friend recommends buying something that just seems to be absolutely amazing I'd slow things down. Also this can be a time when affections whether it's with friendships or in a love relationship can be influenced by our values and if our values are not meshing with someone that we're spending a lot of time with this can bring some turbulence into the open in the next two weeks. But also this week, we do have a very compassionate link between Mercury and Neptune. And it's just encouraging us to try to understand why we react in certain ways, what conditions us to have the responses we have. But I think that the full moon is essentially quite a triggering event. Please stay with me for your in-depth forecast for each of the 12 signs. So Capricorn, your week commencing the 30th of January forecast suggests that anything of a practical nature, which you have a great appreciation for at the best of times, but anything that you really need to grapple with with a lot of concentration but thrust, you can really get on the front foot with that in the early part of this week. What's more challenging perhaps is the fact that Uranus and the Sun are in a tense right angle. This is a kind of echo of the Uranus Saturn energy, your ruler Saturn, of the last couple of years. Essentially it's saying that when it comes to your resources, stay very single minded but very focused on what gives you an actual practical value or return, something tangible. So if someone comes up with an idea that seems attractive, or if there is even somebody that you're really drawn to romantically, I wouldn't let money or uh, generosity to the nth degree get into the equation too much this week. Part of this is that Venus is in a really lovely location for you, but it is in a, a, a tricky right angle with Mars. Perhaps the conversation you have will be quite thought-provoking. Thought there could even be someone in your work environment you encounter that is quite flirty with you and it could be very flattering. But as we have the full moon, as the week draws to a close, that's asking you to think very much about your core values, your sense of self, anything of a financial nature. And because Uranus is in the mix, that can provide some restlessness, some impulsiveness, so whether it is about your longer term finances or devotions and where you're most invested or it is your everyday uh, finances and just your sense of yourself, Uranus can bring a bit of a wrecking ball to the situation by pushing you outside your normal way of dealing with things, which is steady, thoughtful, uh, uh, very systematic, uh, very scrutinised, you know, when it comes to carrying out your due diligence, there's few signs that can compete with you. But Uranus could tempt you, whether it's around a romance, around a friendship, around a purchase, around generosity, um, to do something that's actually going to be counterproductive to just keeping things steady eddy at the moment. And even if you do decide to do something further down the track, you can do it with the benefit that you've gone through this particular full moon, which I think could ask you to think more about your expenditure and some of the things that perhaps you do incur costs on that could be uh, perhaps optional and are not necessarily essential. So it's a week where the more you invest in the earthy side of your nature, the better you will do, even if it sounds a little bit uh, unalluring.